My name is Dean Hovey. I'm a professional sound designer, sound artist, and technologist. All right, um, this is my um, Hotz translator system designed by Jimmy Hotz. Modular synth, analog solutions. Anyone that's spent a lot of time with analog synths realizes that each box is unique and has very specific characteristics. This is my OBX8 voice, which is a beautiful, beautiful machine. They're all different uh, on purpose and selected so that I have a wider palette of sonic uh, possibilities. Because I, I, I have quite a lot of projects that I work on simultaneously. I thought it would be a great idea to sort of capture all these devices all at the same time discreetly into a system where I can figure out in mass uh, what the best choices are for that given project. All of these synthesizers are coming in here. Um, currently, they're all patched directly into the RedNet 2s. The way that my system is set up right now, the signal chain, I go from my analog synthesizers directly into my Focusrite RedNet I.O. And once my synthesizers are, are connected uh, to the RedNet, then it's on the Dante network, and I can record it in the back room on my Pro Tools HDX system. I have two RedNet 5s, and that allows me to have 64 discrete channels directly into a single HDX card. If I were to work in a traditional method, I'd have to have 64 singular cables feeding from room to room as a minimum. On the Dante network, I have one Ethernet cable that plugs from my Ethernet hub in the back room to an Ethernet hub in the front room. And that hub is laced into my RedNet interfaces, and my RedNet interfaces are my I.O. for my devices. And that kind of connectivity and that kind of portability is what makes the Dante um, protocol powerful. One thing that I noticed right out of the box with Focusrite uh, was the separation. When you start, you know, triggering uh, a 30, 50, 60, 70 voice, like ridiculous numbers of voices at the same time, separation's a big deal. In sound design work, uh, the builds can be very dense, but even in a dense build, I can tell, you know, just uh, without looking, you know, I have one, two, three, four, I have 10, I have 11 things being layered. I'll just leave this in the back. Many projects that I do will be finishing at a stage across town or at a themed entertainment location. And so what I like to do is do sort of my pre-production here, and then I'll take my Focusrite system with me. When I travel with my RedNet system, I have um, two RedNet 5s, one RedNet 4, and two RedNet 2s in this back room on wheels. So I'll just pack it up, roll it out the front door. Another thing that's cool about it is um, the RedNet system will be able to use any Pro Tools card. It's an HDX system. If you have an HD3, HD2, or even any of the predecessors, it'll see that card, and you'll be able to plug into somebody's system and, and uh, as if I was in my back room here, and just sort of move forward. You know, it's interesting because I feel like the future is now. I mean, I could do things laying one cable that I, I, I couldn't have dreamt of even. God, I just honestly didn't think it, it would ever happen. I mean, the connectivity of it all and, and the flexibility of it all is, is something that is, is absolutely new and, and, and really very, very powerful.